Hi, I'm Bleeptrick, a creative technologist working in the intersection of code, art and science. Join the ride and follow me on my journey. As you may know, I currently have an artist in residence position in Heilbronn, that's in the south of Germany. And as a part of my activities there, I got the chance to mentor a group of college students. They are majoring in different fields, some graduate in computer science and others in design. And they were recently brought together to create installations around the topic of artificial intelligence. The idea was that in the end we would have an awesome exhibition where we can show off all the cool projects. So this activity was running over one semester, which is quite a tight time frame. And in the beginning I gave a little inspirational talk on AI and creative coding. And after that the students formed smaller groups and we had some brainstorming sessions on what could be cool topics to tackle. The students come from different cities, so most of the communication was happening online at first. And I did my best to nudge each group into the right direction on cool and easy software to use or pointed them to some good and fitting resources about AI. And piece by piece the installations took form until we reached the week before the exhibition. That was when the actual build-up process in Heilbronn started. And it was super exciting to see everything come together. You know, such build-up sites are always a bit chaotic. Some stuff just doesn't work out as expected, something suddenly breaks and so on. But with some last-minute code fixes and a bit of hot glue, we got everything up and running. I also brought two of my own installations, the Plant Human Interface, um, I already made a video about that one, maybe you want to watch it, and also Zero Daydreams, which is a sort of a byproduct of my research. You can create a little drawing on the tablet and then a neural net trains on that image and tries to create new little drawings that are similar but yeah, still new and different. It's really nice to watch because it's a continuous training and drawing process and you can observe how the drawings shift from one template image to the next one. And then the exhibition of mirror machines officially opened with an introduction speech from both the computer science and the design professors. We had drinks and food and lots of people were powering into the exhibition hall. And it was super interesting to see how visitors approached the installations and observed their reactions. You know, some installations were not technical, like these uh, sticker tables here that invites you to ask questions about AI. And there were also installations that were not interactive per se, like this amazing projection mapping that shows how AI is used to track deforestation. But most exhibits were very interactive and playful, like this huge one. Um, a semi-transparent foil was arranged in yeah, sort of a cylinder and multiple projectors were used to project a fluid simulation onto the foil. And now the fun part is that you can enter that foil cylinder curtain thing and your movement is influencing the simulation around you. And it was very fun to see that the darker the exhibition hall got, the cooler the setup would look. Then we had an installation that worked on the topic of face recognition and the problems that arise from prediction of age, gender and so on. So the visitors step in front of the camera and will see their own predictions. And then they will also find additional information in these little drawers. And this installation here was especially interesting. You peek into this little tube and a quick video of you is recorded. And after a little wait, you can see a deep fake of yourself where your face is saying, I am not a robot. And you can also change the voice with the little knob and shift it between a very human sounding voice and like a very robotic artificial voice. And that is super fun, but at the same time also super eerie. And finally, we had an installation where people could describe a place where they wanted to get a postcard from. And then an AI would start to hallucinate a matching place. And visitors could either print the postcard and take it with them home, or hang it up on the wall and make a cool collage or collection. 
The whole exhibition was open for three days. And from what I can say, students and visitors alike had both tons of fun. And there were also two things that became very clear to me while watching the visitors interact with all the exhibits. Uh, first thing, it's super important to also think of the surroundings of an installation. Like, you need to guide people to your place, for example with light. And that's a thing that I currently don't do at all and also don't include it in the planning of my own works. But I definitely should do that. Also, giving the visitors a little thing, a little goodie, like the postcards that they can take home with them, is a super big bonus. Currently, there are plans to set this whole exhibition up again for a second time in another city. And that would be super exciting and I'll keep you updated. So, subscribe for more projects from me or join my Patreon. I hope to see you soon. Bye!